friends, welcome to my channel Shield Hacks. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Arctic Mobile Cooling Controller. This is used for gamers and when your phone gets too hot and it is unplayable, this controller can come in handy. This controller will cool your phone. So let's start unboxing. So here I have the Arctic Mobile Cooling Controller. This is rechargeable, designed for gaming and cooling fan for maximum usage. This is how it looks. So let's start unboxing. The controller itself. So let's pull out the controller. And there's the charging cable also. For the controller, it has a sleek design. And look, this is adjustable for your phone. So how much your phone is. And there's the cooling fan, you can see. And if I map it with my fingers, it matches. So I believe this, this will work. And there's the fan. So there's the uh, button, on button. So if I turn it on, look, the fan starts spinning. This might seem it will not work since the fan is moving super slow, but I have to charge it too. So let's charge this. So there's the controller and this is a micro USB uh, slot. So you, so it's easy to charge it. And now second hand, I'm putting this in my power bank and you can see the light blinking. So the blinking light means it's charging and when it's fully done, it will turn solid red. So while the mobile cooling controller charges, I'm going to show you a gameplay of my favorite game Fortnite and how it feels like without the controller. So, so I'm going to show you my settings and you can see I have 60 FPS, low, low quality and 50% resolution. So there I am loaded into uh, the game and I am going to drop at Doom's Domain or actually Stark Industry and you can look at the frame rate it is like 30, 20 like that. When I, when I pulled my glider out, it's still like at 40. And the game is now like unplayable. So there you go. I barely got the alert. Look, I am at 1 HP. So it is kind of like really frustrating when your frame rate is going down. And you can see it right over here, it is not even touching the 60 at any times when it says that it will reach 60 FPS, but it is not. And there I go, Iron Man. And look, the lag caused me to uh, get myself eliminated. So this is the minus point of uh, not having a mobile cooling controller. So now I'm gonna compare it with the mobile cooling controller so there is the controller and now let's insert the phone and really important thing that you should remove the cover before inserting it because you want to cool your phone not your cover right <laughs> so i'm going to show you one more time my settings are still the same and let's turn on the fan So there my game has loaded up and right at the back you can see I am at like 40, 50 FPS. When I start moving it's at like 60 FPS. Hmm, this did make a difference. So this is like the uh, home uh, 
home base. So now let's just now let's drop into the game. So same place, Dark Industries. This battle bus looks kind of cool. Sometimes reaching 60 FPS, which is good. And now look, it is straight 60 FPS. So this boat, and now it is like more than 60 FPS. Like it's 63, 66. Lag-free gameplay. So, and, and the price of this is like eight dollars, and it has really good cooling. So, so in my opinion. I believe that this controller is the best and cheapest controller to cool down your phone. So this was all about the mobile cooling controller on how it cools. So based on that, um, it, it did cool my phone. Which, so this product is a 5 star. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to check out more of my videos, links are right here. And thank you for watching. See ya!